our family wow. is making a really big move. Look at that. My God. <laughs> my name is Rafferty Bloomberg. This is so big. This is my sister, Noah, although we call her Monkey. And these are my fairly cool parents, Heather and Aaron. What have we done? <laughs> and this is our new home. I don't know. I think we might be crazy. There is a twist. Our new home is a funeral home. Up until recently, we were happily living in a modern urban family home. Our family is... We're a bunch of weirdos. Oh. Noah! I think we're eccentric. A niche market, if you will. We love Halloween. We're huge horror movie fans. My family goes all out. Full go off. Full scary. <laughs> Keep going, look. So it's no surprise that my mum fell in love with this unique property for sale. It was our dream house, built in the 1880s at a stupid price. It looks like the Adams family house. It's weird and it's gothic. It's, it's everything we've ever dreamed of. We were like, oh damn, we're gonna have to buy this building. It's amazing. I realized that it was a funeral home. Oh, what have we done? You bought it? Yeah. Yes. We sold our house. The movers arrived. Bye, house. Bye. And we're ditching the big city for an even bigger, weirder adventure in the country. And that's how we came to Dresden. Population 2,457. Look, I see it. 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 Mom and I saw the house, I was just like, we're here, yeah! I hope there's ghosts and monsters in the town. Why are there lights on? Movers? No. Monsters? No. Ghosts. This is actually the first time Noah and I get to see the house we're moving into. This is our first visitation, if you will. Well, kids, <laughs> welcome home. This is it, the new place. <laughs> Oh my god, it's big. Whoa. It's like a hotel. With dead people. Whoa. I can't help think about how many dead bodies came through this house in the past hundred years. I don't know, that's kind of creepy. Do you guys want to have a look around? Yes. We ended up paying $570,000 for it, which, all things considered... For 12,000 square feet, feet of mansion? We're OK Seems with that like price. Look at my kitchen. It is going to be a huge kitchen. Nice. And we're going to use the um, cold storage. Cold storage no. they used to keep the bodies. No! <laughs> no! What is that? You're standing where the casket goes. <laughs> so this was the... Yeah. No, so. <laughs> Yes, it was a funeral home. And there's some things in the building. It definitely makes you go, hmm. The kitchen, dining room, family room area. Is absolutely huge. No, oh, that's no, that's no, very no. no. If you... uh, uh. Come on, if you're going to play an organ in a funeral home, you don't play chopsticks. The house is like a maze. There are three stories, 38 rooms, and endless hallways. I actually don't even know how many staircases there are in the house. Probably 10. So this used to be the servant's stairs. There's another whole floor all for you. This is huge. <laughs> this is your bedroom. Oh, whoa. You hate me. This is the, this best, the best room, room in the house. How? It has a weapon. Mom, what is this for? Yeah, there are questions we just don't ask. And then there's my room. Down there. Oh, wow. In the basement of a funeral home. Where are the lights? <laughs> <laughs> this was the casket showroom. So this would have been lined with coffins, and people would come in and choose the type of coffin that they wanted. That's not terrifying. 
And then we walk down the hall. Terrifying. There is the embalming room, like 50 paces away from my room. OK, so this would be the preparation room. Wow, that's creepy. So there'd be the table here that the body would be on. And they'd use the sinks for the washing of the body, getting it clean. Then they would do the embalming. That's gross. I found more body juice. Though. It's not body juice. There's a whole tub of yellow juice in a <laughs> separation room. It's gonna be body juice. No, it's not. It, anyway. Do you know what this is? Is this the lift? This is the casket lift. <laughs> this is kind of scary, not gonna lie. Hello there. So scary. You should try being on it. Turns out a corpse elevator is not the creepiest part of the house. This is the old, old, old basement. It's a little silence of the lambs down here. This is when somebody passed away. These are the boxes they used to be brought to the funeral home in. We found this box that is used to move the bodies. It's part of the house, yeah. and I think it would look gorgeous framed. My mother thought of the bright idea to frame it. it seems like a bad idea. So. What's going to happen? What, how is a box going to hurt you? They always say that. It's just a box, and then everyone ends up dead. It, it's, it's creepy. Oh. Yeah. On the upside, we have a pool. OK. Needs a little work. It'll be good. So that's our new house. Our plan is to turn it into our dream home. Oh. Oh. We have got to Help. make friends Help. with the neighbours. We have a house with an elevator in it. I'm not sure I <laughs> want to go in there. Oh, look at that. It is hard to escape one pretty weird fact. This is better than any roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> we brought a funeral home.